traveled to Greenville, North Carolina, the memories weren't so great. Some questionable calls and a heartbreaking loss. So I know going in, you wanted to keep everybody's spirits up. Well, uh, we played real well two years ago. I felt like we could go back and play very good again. But the great thing was, Dave, but two games in a row now, we've been able to put back-to-back -back our defenses back on track, playing great. Here's our kickoff of the opening game. And boys, this uh, part of our football been very, very great. There's Kenny Urban making a great tackle there. Joey Allison and uh, kicked the ball deep. A lot of hang time. Now they're going to come back and move the football uh, on us and the score. Uh, they do a lot of just a little short control passing here. Uh, here you can see uh, Hester control passing out to the wide out. Uh, Letcher is yeah. really a good, a good receiver. They're going to run uh, Junior Smith, the running back. Uh, here he comes to the left side. We, we got held a little bit there, but uh, we did come over. Uh, Mark Toe and Jeremy Williams to knock him out of bounds. Little guy's 5'6", 180, and he can really He's motor. Good. Here you yeah. stop him cold, though. Right. Now, this is a great uh, job right there by our defense off the left side. Uh, that's Dwayne Van Borg, number 42, making that play. Second down and 10. They're going to hit their uh, tight end here. Oh, this is the option play. Option play out to the second back. There's and that was a surprise. Kenny Urban. We didn't think that they would run option much and they tried to throw a little different look at you they and brought, it worked early they brought that back out of their playbook from three years ago there's the big play that killed us the first drive there you can see junior smith on a big touchdown run we had a missed tackle right there about seven yards down the uh from the line of scrimmage and generally when that happens that's when big plays really are created against you but that was the only really big one that hurt us uh, from that point on our defense really come on and play great Seven plays, 82 yards, three minutes and 16 seconds, 11.44 left in the game, 7-0 ECU. We uh, go to Memphis State's second series. There's 6.44 left in the quarter. This is a first and 20. You see uh, Steve Matthews, uh, he checked that play and hit uh, uh, Isaac Bruce off to the left side for a, a five-yard gain, and we got stuff there on the running game, makes it third and 10. Here's a big football play for us. you got to take a watch this. Watch Isaac Bruce make his first of... Uh, Several great plays for us. That one uh, kept a drive going. He absolutely takes this out of the hands of the defender yeah. who appears to have this thing picked off. Here you can see it in uh, slow motion. You can see what a great play it really is. There they are up to the ball. Isaac comes down with it. And uh, once again, that keeps this drive alive. Um, here's Quitman Spalding for four yards off the uh, left side of the uh, defense. Second down and five. Here's Quitman uh, for another four yards. This makes it third and two. And this sets up a real big play on third and two to Matt Cody out in the left flap right there. That guy misses the tackle. Once that happens, it's all over. Here goes Mac into the end zone uh, for the score that uh, ties the game. Ray Patterson actually uh, Here you can see it in slow -mo. ran some pretty good interference. He can't quite see it, and then he makes the cut. And suddenly this game is tied at 7-7. Seven, seven. Now Joey Allison will come on, and this will tie... Joey with Dave Castanelli for the leading scorer in Memphis State history, both with 218 points at the moment. 4.13 left to go for Stanza. We're not at up. Here's our kickoff team again, down to the one-yard line. Here comes the return out. Kenny Irvin again, right there, along with the rest of that, uh, that, that group that we have. That group has got a lot of pride, and uh, they're doing an absolutely great job. Third down and nine. Here's a big play for them. They do a, they do a great job. Out here on the uh, R right flat, Dominic Calloway is a guy that knocks uh, Lecter out, out of bounds, but they do get the first down. They're going to move the ball on us several times, but our defense really had whatever it took to hang in there. Here's the option play, but well, well played there. Strung, Strung out, out played very, very good. Denton Barto, Jeremy Williams making some great plays there. The option so again, the other way, watch, get watch this hit right there. There's Jeremy Williams and a whole host. It's good to see all the Tigers around the football again. And in option football, that's a lot of times that's a tough thing to get done, Dave. But uh, our guys really are sharp. They're playing, playing well. They're hustling to the ball, playing very hard. It was a great play by the inside. You can see number 77, uh, Brian Barnett, 78, Charles King in there. Combination uh, of the two, and boy, yeah, did they stop him. Real good defensive play right in the middle there. Forces the punt after they tried to throw you off sides. Martin fumbled, but quickly regained the punt, and you're back in business. Right. Here we come. Now, this is... Uh, this is where uh, Quitman Spalding gets hurt, right there, running off the right tackle. You can see here he comes off his uh, How bad ankle. Is the I, I really don't know for sure. We'll know a little bit more uh, today, but it's an ankle sprain, and that, that's, you know, that's bad. Uh, there you can see Isaac Bruce again with another uh, great play from uh, Steve Matthews. Sweet Martin on the sweep for a first down. That was a big play. I think it was third and two there. We needed that first down to keep a drive going. That ends the uh, first quarter. Here we are now, first and 10, starting the second quarter. 
Here's the uh, Steve gets uh, sacked here. Got to get rid of the ball. Hold on to it just a little long. Second and 19, but watch this play right here. This is a great play by, um, you, know, you know who? Isaac Bruce. Isaac Bruce again. Here you can well, you see it again lose. coming across the middle. Boy, what a, it's a great throw, a great catch, and a big first down for us to keep this drive going. Frankly, with Bruce and Cody, yeah. you're Mike in Mike Anderson catches this one off the uh, left flat there. Uh, it's a short, quick out. Makes it second down and five. Here we go to Matt Cody again off of, uh, on the inside. That same play that he scored on a little bit earlier. Here you can see Mac does a great job getting the ball down the 20-yard line. Boy, he's, a, he's, a, he's an excellent receiver uh, also, along with Isaac Bruce. And here we are uh, again out here to Isaac Bruce down to the 10-yard line, 11-yard line. Bruce's routes are so crisp, so technically perfect. Great never running. Helped him. Great running right there uh, by Tweet uh, uh, Martin to get, that, uh, to get that first down. Here we go. We're going to hit uh, Matt Cody again down to the 3-yard line. Now uh, watch this play it's here. It's a neat play. Yeah, send the man in motion. They don't, get, they, they don't they get into a goal line defense, and they, you know, it's one of those things that a lot of times you might not work on during the course of the week. Uh, they got to get a linebacker out on him. He didn't go out and cover him, and so Steve was, uh, Matthews is very, very alert. He raises up and uh, hits the ball to... Uh, and there's your school record yeah, right there. Martin, right. Uh, Joey Allison, congratulations, Joey. That was a great job. That was a great drive. 12 plays, 66 yards. It took up some time, 445. 11-18 left to go, and ECU back with the ball. We do a great job of stringing that play out and force the cutback, and he, and he does do a great job of cutting the ball back. Here he is again. He's going to get about three great runs here in a row. I mean, when I say he, I'm talking about Junior, Junior Smith, their fine running back. All of them are our cutbacks, and uh, it takes a little while, but we, get, we finally get this thing corrected with our people standing home on the backside. Dominic Callaway knocks him out of bounds. Uh, Here's the option play again to the left. We're doing a much better job now of getting folks out to it. Danton Bartow, Jeremy Williams, you can see right here. Here we come, there's Bartow, Rod Brown. Yep. Help clean it up along with uh, Danton Bartow. Now this uh, play. Try this reverse, yeah, Charles King grabs him there. Dwayne Van Gorg, I think, was in the position he should have been. Here you can see. Uh, they ran that a little bit earlier in the game. Uh, got a nice gain off of it. Unfortunately, they were in an illegal, illegal formation when they did it. Third and 13, a big play. Boy, there's a great interception by Danton Bartow. We're going to take another look at that. Kind of goes through Danton's hands, hits the receiver's helmet, bounces right back into Danton's hands right there. Some days you get those breaks. Other days it bounces into but the other But Danton team's made hands. the play because he tipped the ball. That's why it goes off the helmet. You needed a big play. You got the big play, and you're going to come right back. And here's a great play by Isaac Bruce. And a, and oh, a great man. throw, great pass. Watch this again. It's right over top the uh, two receivers. Boy, what, what a great concentration and a great play that is. Picture Another big play that gets the drive going for us. Here's a uh, swing pass to uh, Tweet Martin for another 12 yards down to the five-yard line. Now Tweet almost scores on this one. He's down to the one. So but did he pay a price or what? Forget that hit pointer. He yeah. says, I want it. Boy, did they upend him. He's close. Now here comes Tweet in motion to the left. We're gonna, here's, a, here's an excellent touch pass by Steve Matthews and a great catch. We're going to take another look at this. Here you can see that, that ball soaring right where it has to be thrown. And uh, Tweet Martin does a great job of stretching out, hit pointer and all, to pull that thing in for the touchdown. Joey Allison now is starting to build onto the streak that he's already set. Well, he ends up with uh, actually 75 in a row if you go all throughout this game. And he's kicking the football into the wind, so this one is a little bit short, but watch the stick. Great, y'all. That's... Uh, that's uh, our, our freshman defensive back, who makes Beasley. That, Jimmy Beasley, who makes that play. There's some good running on their part. Uh, we had a face mask penalty there. You can see it early. Now uh, our defense, right here is Lester outside. Does a great job. You can see we're starting to get a lot of Tigers around the football, but held him up there. Get some Tigers going here. He does a nice job of scrambling. We do a great job coming over and getting him out of bounds. Hester picked up the first, though. He knew just where the marker was. Here's a big play, Charles King, and there is a sack when you need it. Right. Makes it third down and eight. Hot. Here's a great, here's a really a, a well-executed play. We had good heat on him by Logan. He throws a great pass right between Bartow and Jeremy Williams. That was a lucky play on their part because he it looked like he was just throwing it away. Well-executed. Here he's, uh, he drops the ball off. This is another big play. This is the drive right before half. We're going to come up with a big play here in just a... Uh, in a couple more minutes. It may have turned around the game, Callaway's yeah. big play. There's the option play. It's, that's really well, uh, well defensed right here. Rod Brown on this hit. They, they, uh, the option really caught us a little bit by surprise. We had to do some adjusting on the sideline. 
Here it is. Watch this. Right there, Dominic Callaway steps in front. This is a big swing for us. He does a great job of running here. But you're not going to believe who catches him from behind. Here comes the big tight end. Carlester Crumpler, who's probably going to be uh, playing on Sundays next year, came a long way, but that ties uh, school record's sixth longest interception return in history. It ends up going 90 yards, and that's what you call perfect timing, Dominique Callaway. This play, Coach, I think turns around the game. If they score and they're on their way, it's 21-14. Instead, it's still 21-7. You've got a shot at another touchdown here, and what a great play. Another perfect timing pass. It gets called back, though, because 12 men were on the field. Yeah, we had 12 men on the field. That's a little bit of the result of an injury early, and then the guy getting back in the game, and we didn't do a very good job on the sideline of saying who's in the game, who's not in the game. It's also the result, I think, of a very uh, sudden turnaround. You know, you're, sure. you're not up there moving the ball down the field. All of a sudden, you're caught in that situation. Everybody gets a little excited. Young players get excited. Allison on the last play makes it 24-7 to at the half. And there's the numbers. The first thing that jumps out at you, though, time of possession. You had so many big plays that ECU had right. the ball longer. Well, you know, we're capable of making big plays. And it really doesn't make it. You know, I, obviously, I believe in possession time. I think that's very important. But uh, the, here's a great uh, idea that uh, you doesn't have to possess the ball to score points. So if you can make the big plays, then fine. Uh, up 24-7, what do you say at intermission to this well, team? I, I think the big thing right now is we've got to come back and play with great intensity in the second half and, uh, and you know, keep playing our, our football and, and improving and uh, not getting sloppy. And uh, I don't think we played as well in the third quarter as we could. But we did uh, come back and finish the game very strong. There was some intensity, particularly on defense. We've got all the plays. And stick around for that, please. I'm Chef.